This is the Iceberg Thermal Ice Slit X6 from a company that we never heard from, Iceberg Thermal. The Ice Slit X6 is meant to fit right in the middle of the pack in terms of the pricing and the cooling performance, but with an added design twist. As you might have already noticed, this cooler is certainly unique. It has a plastic made shroud which is in teal or iceberg blue color. And straight off the bat, this will be an issue for many people that want to have a more neutral color scheme to match with their RGB systems. Speaking of which, the Ice Slit X6 does have RGB and it is compatible with all commercial RGB systems. The Ice Slit X6 is available for around 50 to 55 US dollars or euros at the time of this review, and for this price, it has a lot of competition from the established manufacturers, and I'm not even talking about the bargain bin products either. The general dimensions of this CPU cooler are pretty good, with a height of just 159mm, a length of 115mm and a width of 146mm, and that is with this plastic cover installed, which is pretty good. However, here is where the first issue starts to show its fangs. While this plastic shroud is unique, the fan included with the Ice Slit X6 is unfortunately impossible to replace. Not only that, but to add insult to injury, this fan is only attached to the heatsink with the help of these small plastic tabs. And just imagine if just one or two of them would break off. Anyway, enough about this and let's see how this cooler is built and how it performs. The heatsink used here has an offset shape which is nothing new, but it is very good because it pushes the whole CPU cooler away from the RAM slots of the motherboard which increases the clearance for the RAM kit. This heatsink has a standard single tower design and uses around 49 aluminum cooling fins, each with a thickness of 0.4mm. The Ice Slit X6 has 6 heat pipes which are made from nickel plated copper and have an outer diameter of 6mm. These heat pipes are arranged in the classic U shape to make a better contact with all the cooling fins and to help with the heat transfer. While the nickel plated surface of these heat pipes is done very well, the same can be said for the heat pipe endings, which are not symmetrical at all. However, the plastic shroud will cover them up so we can give this one a pass. The base plate of this CPU cooler is made from solid nickel plated copper and it has a very smooth surface and the build quality is on par with the big coolers from the main manufacturers. As I've said previously, the Ice Slit X6 uses just a single 120mm fan installed at the front of the heatsink. This fan has no model number or any technical specification printed on the back label. However, based on the manufacturer's website, this fan has a minimum speed of 500 RPM and a maximum speed of 1850 RPM. It also uses a fluid dynamic bearing system and it is rated for over 150,000 hours of usage. In addition, this fan uses a long cable which is sleeved and has a 4 pin connector so you can control the speed through PWM. However, there is a massive drawback of this fan, which has been stated in the first minutes of this review. This fan can be removed, however, it can never be replaced by a different fan, as the mounting system is basically these four small plastic tabs, and when one of them will break, well, that's a bad day for everyone involved. And yes, this fan is where the addressable RGB LEDs of the cooler are located. This is essentially the main and only RGB element of the Ice Slit X6 CPU cooler. Fortunately, the LEDs can be controlled with a simple RGB controller or through your motherboard. The Ice Slit X6 CPU cooler is delivered in a great packaging and if presentation was a key factor for a CPU cooler, then this one takes the top award. The accessory bundle is pretty good and it includes all that you need and nothing more. We start with the user manual, then there is a small tube of thermal compound, a plastic made backplate, plastic spacers, metal nuts, mounting arms for both Intel and AMD, and some other double threaded screws. And that's it, no fancy screwdriver or case badges. The installation of this cooler is very simple. First you get the backplate if your system requires it, in my case it does as I am running on an Intel platform. Then you place the backplate at the back of the CPU socket, afterwards you place these plastic spacers over the studs of the backplate at the front of the motherboard and afterwards you place the mounting arms over the studs and secure them with these small metallic nuts. Finally, you apply the thermal compound onto the CPU surface and install the heatsink. You secure the heatsink by tightening these pre-installed spring-loaded screws. And of course, then you install the front fan and the middle plastic cover and you're pretty much done. 
And this is how your system will look like with the Iceberg Thermal i Slit X6 CPU cooler. The light blue color might not be for everyone, but it makes this CPU cooler stand out for sure. Also, the RGB LEDs are quite bright and have plenty of modes for their colors. In terms of the clearance, and in the case of the RAM clearance, it is very good. In fact, this cooler will not even get close to the RAM slots of the motherboard, let alone interfere with the RAM kit. However, the clearance for the expansion slots could have been so much better, especially for a cooler of these dimensions. The space between the backplate of the graphics card and the side of the CPU cooler is around 20mm. And if this was a bigger cooler, I would have said that it was alright, but in the case of the iSlit X6, it isn't. This is a medium-sized CPU cooler, yet the clearance is not that great. Before we test the cooling performance, it's time to hear how this CPU cooler sounds like. And this is why on this channel, all CPU coolers have a noise sample included. This is useful because while a decibel reading is valuable as a metric to compare the CPU coolers and their noise outputs, it does not consider the noise generated from external sources, such as bearing ticking from the fan or vibrations that get passed on to the heatsink. With the single 120mm fan spinning at a maximum speed of 1850rpm, the iSlit X6 reached a maximum noise output of 43 decibels, with the measuring device placed at 10 cm away from the system and the CPU cooler. This noise output is not surprising, as this is a fan that does not only spin at close to 2000rpm, but all the air is getting pushed into the heatsink thanks to the plastic shroud. The performance testing of all CPU coolers, unless otherwise stated, is done using the Intel i9-9900K CPU, which is running at both its factory frequency and settings and then it is overclocked manually to 5GHz on all cores. The first test uses the Intel Burntest V2 benchmark, a synthetic benchmark which places a load onto the CPU that is similar in severity with what you can encounter in a modern AAA video game. And in this test, the iSlit X6 reached a maximum temperature of 68 degrees Celsius, with the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores, and a temperature of 62 degrees Celsius with the CPU running at its factory frequency. All these results are achieved with a fixed temperature of 26 degrees Celsius. This places the iSlit X6 next to coolers such as the Be Quiet Dark Rock 4 or the Noctua NH-U9S. However, the next test is where each CPU cooler is pushed to its limits, some even beyond that, as this test is using the FPU system stability test of the AIDA64 Extreme software. This synthetic benchmark places an unrealistically high load onto the CPU, something which you will rarely if ever encounter in your daily usage. In fact, the closest you can get to this level of CPU load is if you do heavy video rendering with the CPU as the only rendering unit. And in this test, the iSlit X6 reached a maximum temperature of 93 degrees Celsius with the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores, and a 69 degrees Celsius temperature with the CPU running at its factory frequency and settings. These values place the iSlit X6 next to coolers such as the Noctua NH-U9S or the Be Quiet Dark Rock Slim. With these results taken into account, we can all see that the iSlit X6 is not the king of the hill, not in terms of temperature and especially not in terms of noise output. So what is the iSlit X6? To be completely honest, it is a good idea that needs more work. The build quality of this cooler is very good, and I mean very good. Nothing is left to chance, everything is polished and well made. However, if there is one thing that will draw this cooler back, well, it's the same thing that makes it stand out from the crowd, the plastic shroud which covers the heatsink and contains the front fan. It is unique and it does look good if you are into this type of color. However, it adds a couple of issues that should not be present. First, the front fan is not replaceable and that is unacceptable. If you break one of the plastic clips that hold it together, you are in trouble. I mean, yes, you could add a different fan, but you would have to make your own fan clips to fit. And how many people want or are capable of that? Not many. Second, the quality of the plastic shroud is good. It is solely plastic and it's very well made, but the fit on both plastic pieces together is not that great. And the way it's installed on a heatsink, it basically asks for issues with the plastic clips that will break eventually. The cooling performance is also unique, I suppose. 
This cooler has 6 heat pipes and a very good base plate, yet somehow it does not perform as good as I was hoping. This CPU cooler right now performs just about the same as coolers that are smaller, quieter and more importantly sometimes even cheaper. And I believe that it all comes down to the fan used which does not deliver enough airflow and static pressure to allow the heatsink to dissipate the heat properly. And that's a shame because this fan is also quite noisy. For the price of around 55 US dollars, this cooler offers a great build quality and a unique design, but it does have a high noise output and an average at best cooling performance. It is a good CPU cooler, yes it is, but only for those that want a well-made CPU cooler that looks unique. For those that want an affordable cooling solution that will have a good cooling performance for as cheap as possible, then not really. It needs more work to be competitive, especially at this price point. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more and also if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Subscriber Star pages of this channel.